Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to today I'm going to test out the ready-made animes uh, animes avatars. So yeah, this is my default animes avatar, which is also known as personas. So now I'm not going to use my personas, but I will later on. But first I'm going to show you um, some tips which can help you uh make your streaming um uh, make your videos using anime is much better so now let's get started so i have i have some of them but the i have a lot of backgrounds but the ones that actually make it look like you are actually streaming something like in uh, headphones and all that stuff is uh these few backgrounds that they call it podcast rgb room and streamer mage so let's have the podcast so wait let's wait for it to load then we can start so this is the podcast section so uh, now let's just show you the rgb room the podcast actually isn't that bad for somebody who actually wants to make your stuff more, look more realistic uh yeah so uh now i'm in the rgb room this actually looks pretty good if you think of it like that and uh it actually it is actually looking like like an actual rgb room so and it's also changing colors and animating at the same time so you got to admire so we've got to admire it how perfect it is and lastly this is the streamer magenta this actually doesn't look bad this actually doesn't look that bad but if you want to go more, a little more creative like um, uh, with a more creative background like something animated and all that stuff which is not related to the podcast this background or the other or the other one that is showing you which is the rgb room so uh so yeah you can turn in the other backgrounds and then find one which is perfect for you before you start streaming or just testing out your animes so now we are going to check out the ready made avatars and animes so the first one that i'm going to check out is right down here this is mel the panda so he actually looks pretty good when you think of it but he doesn't have a body so it might look a little awkward but uh, if you get the shift key and drag it a little more, then we can make it much bigger and uh, people will focus more on the more on the panda and the more like that. So, but uh, this will be a problem since uh, since this uh, doesn't have a body, but if you want any anime character without a body, or just wanted to look cool and realistic like actual emojis then you should actually try now the panda now let's go to the next avatar which is this one the cat then we are going to go to two commonly used avatars which are commonly used in animes this is matchy so she is a cat and she looks really good at that in that way so uh one fun thing that you can do with your anime is ready made avatars if you don't like it you can also like change the color or the first or the fur color the size all of that so uh but before that i'm going to give a little tip for the ones for you who are uh using ready made anime avatars for like animals and stuff so just go to background here and then select any one of the background which you think suits your avatar the best. I like this winner pumpkin. 
room. So, but before I start that, I just need to make them a little bigger and increase the size so that uh, the attention is more on the avatar than the background. So, yeah. Now, let's take out one of the other, one of the most popular enemies avatars that people are using. It is this one. Then, I'm going to check out... Just above here we have another avatar, which actually doesn't look bad. It is the Jumpster, Bruce Jumpster. So, but before that, let me change the background, make it fit to my avatar. So, uh, this is what makes your avatar realistic. If you get an un like a background that doesn't match with your avatar, I'm a it might not look that good so I recommend changing your background every time to something that suits it when you are um, making try and use a new avatar for especially the ready-made ones so yeah so now I'm going to check out one of the other enemies avatars this one, Bruce Jumpster. Let's wait for it to load and then we will change the background. So uh, this is Bruce Jumpster. Then we just increase his size so that we can see him more clearly. So uh, he looks really um, interesting. Interesting of a shark, I guess. So, but it doesn't look that realistic because we don't have the perfect background for him. So now we're just going to change the background so that it looks so much better. So let me go get a background. I think I like the pool background, which I have previously used. So let me just get it. <coughs> this one. Very sorry about that. I had a little cough. So this is the pool background. It actually looks pretty good. And another thing that you guys can try in your time to make sure that the lightning matches the background if it doesn't and make your avatar fit into the background is this really good thing like these uh, presets these presets that you can find when editing your editing your avatar no, no, in your in editing your background like how will the background look for your how, like uh, the the lightning for the avatar and all that. So first we're going to try the dynamic lightning. Let me activate it. It actually looks like something from a horror movie. And I don't like that. So let's just try something else. Okay, the three point light you looks even worse. Cyberpunk is looks really good uh, if you are using the sunset background. You have the Godfather. No, 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 no. This is so scary. Why would somebody name a background mm. and name a preset hell? Hi, key. Okay, this isn't bad, but the lightning and color don't fit in with here. Let's try the light preset. It looks so much better. And then we have the low key and the red and blue equal. So another thing that you can do when you want to fix it is that you can increase the intensity so that the so if you increase the intensity a lot it will make the brightness a lot bigger and we don't want that other um uh, but if you do want something bright very bright in your background you can but i don't want that like large preset so i think that's uh large intensity i don't want it to be all that, that bright so i guess i'm not going with this so let's just get the cheap and light the, the light preset vrm then let's just go and change the intensity so i uh, see as you can see a hundred percent it has a really cool effect but i don't want that effect for my avatar so let me just decrease 
I dance it here a little bit. Yeah, this looks good, but I think it is a little too bright. So let me decrease the intensity. Now it is the now it, the shark is fitting much more with the background, fixing the lightning and composition as well. So now we're going to check out another background. Oh yes, don't forget to say your background and. And of course, uh, you can you can make your avatar bigger or smaller or all of that. So now I'm going to check out another avatar, which is the Nico cat. Then I'm going to go ahead to funny avatars. One thing that you can track by an avatar to see if it's good for you and that if it can work everywhere is the emote key. It's this one. Can they have profiles? Huh? Not now. Not it. Clapping. Okay, and this avatar is really cute, but it is very underrated in animes. And this type of avatar, I guess, is too. But before, but uh, as you can see, the background doesn't fit in with the cat. So I'm going to get a better background. So let me just go get one that you really like. I like this. So let me speak. Wait a second. This is not what that I need. What is it? I don't know. So now it's a good time to use like a better tint or background. So let's try a preset. Dynamic lighting. Good, and, and this doesn't make him darker or lighter. Don't say point light. Okay, then nothing's happening to him. So I guess whatever tint that we add, it will always see the stain. See the stain. There is no need to save right now. So yeah. Now I'm gonna check out more of these styles of cats and we actually have a lot of these style stuff. We have the fox, we have the dog, we have a nino dog, we have a hippo, we have a koala, we have a camu bear, we have a saru monkey, we have a raccoon, we have a rabbit, and we have a tiger. So let's do the tiger and the goon. So, so, so now let's do the tiger and the raccoon actually now. But you guys, when you guys can install animes, then you guys can also check out these tiger and the raccoon all of them you can check out all of them including the tiger and the raccoon so uh let me go get the rabbit and then i'm going to check the fox so uh, actually the quality of the ready-made animation avatars look really good for some strange reason but i gotta appreciate how well animes had worked on making this thing success successful and it's really sad that it's a very underrated so let's try the Yusaji rabbit. Let's make her bigger. Then we can try her evils. Wait. She has some poses. Huh? So now let's try the animation for nodding. For okay, this doesn't look like boring. It looks more like confusion, but I guess I can say that. What about clapping? Does it work? Okay, but this actually doesn't use any kind of like body languages for the type for the Nico collection of the 
animates avatars so uh it actually shows stuff with text on the side as i examined with the nico cat earlier but it does have some movement when you do that so yeah and let's just take out some more avatars and we'll call it day so now let's just try the last avatar which is a whole lot up whole lot uh, a long way up which second i think it's down i think i did something wrong yes this is the one that i need this is the fox avatar it actually looks really better and cool so let's try some other poses confusion exclamation animations is nodding clapping shaking head laugh and worry so now if you use the uh this art collection of avatars it's with the same sort of art then uh, i guess that i guess that all of the animations should be similar so uh so if you're trying this collection of avatars like the dogs the, the the dogs and the animals with this kind of art style then i guess that you should actually uh you should actually guess that all of the avatars animations and poses look the same look just the same thing but some of the like avatars like the 3d ones which are different from each other the art styles are different from each other can't so i'm going to try one of the stuff some of the funny avatars to show you how okay then let's start with the john the toilet i guess so this is john the toilet i guess he looks really um, uh, laughable and uh he, as you can see uh it has rather a um, uh, rather a um, uh, special facial features and movements to make him look like more uh, like unique because him uh, his mouth a toilet and he is a toilet himself so uh when your mouth moves his toilet lid moves actually and uh, the toilet lid moves like the above lid the one above the eyes uh it moves when you move your eyebrows and the other features might move as well so now i'm i'm like to try the poses puffed cheeks okay we have puffed cheeks this is actually really funny i guess since it like it makes and I'll let you figure it out for yourself. And let's just get rid of this. And you're shrugging. Okay. Hello. Oh, now I guess it. The toilet paper. The toilet paper is being used as a hand for the toilet. No. Okay. It's. I feel like super duper funny. And yeah. What about the aboujin? Oh, don't forget to change the background. I almost forgot about that. I'm not changing the background because I think this background is suitable for the avatars right now. But it may not be for your own. So, yeah. Let's try our last but not least. Lily the octopus. This is the after that I used to start of the video, I think. Yes, I did. I did. And uh, as you can see, he, she looks a lot better with the podcast podcast background. Actually, she does. So let's just change the background. Let's get rid of this. And this is the podcast background actually looks pretty good and it looks good and it like looks really realistic for good youtubers so so thank you all for watching this video i hope you like it